Hello students, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to cover operating system process life cycle for our college and university level examination. So as you can see here in process life cycle, we have basically five stages named as start, ready, running, terminate and wait. So we are going to cover all these stages one by one and also I will tell you a secret trick to remember these stages and their working. So let's start the session. So this is the introduction of process life cycle and before moving to its introduction, I would like to tell you the meaning of process. So basic definition of process says it is basically a program. It is a program in execution. Right. So the execution of a process must progress in a sequential fashion. So we can also say it as process is what process is a sequential task given to an operating system. In simple words, we can say that as computer science students, you must have written so many computer programs in text file. Right. So whenever we execute that program, it becomes a process. So whenever we execute that program, it becomes a process, right? Which performs all the tasks mentioned in that program. So this is the definition of process. Now let's move back to the topic that is process life cycle. So when a process executes, it passes through different states. And these states or stages may differ in different operating systems and the number of these states are also not standardized. So names of these states are also not standardized. So in this video, whatever names I'm going to tell you are basically from general operating system, right? So basically we have five stages. New that is also called a start stage or Initial stage that is the first stage of every process new. Second is ready, then running, waiting and terminate. Okay, so let's start with the first point that is the new state. Imagine that a unit process that executes a simple addition operation and print it. I would like to take that example. Okay. So, in every process, let's say I have three processes P1, P2 and P3. All three processes wants one resource. And let's say resource is nothing but a printer. All these processes want to print the pages. And the printer is busy with another process called P4. Okay, so this is, these are the processes and this is the resource. All these processes request an operating system for that particular resource. And we can also say it as when operating, when the printer is busy with P4, all these three, three processes are set up in a process queue. Okay, so let's draw one process queue so that it becomes easier to all of you. So we have a process queue and our process is right here. Okay, so now we have the first stage that is new. So process is submitted to the process queue and it is in turns acknowledged submission. And once it's, once the submission is acknowledged by the operating system, the process is given a new status. So this process is now at new state. Right. Second point we have is ready state. This is the new state. Okay. Second is ready state. So it then our process then goes to ready state. It goes to the ready state. And at this moment the process is waiting to be assigned a processor by the operating system. As I have discussed process P4 is using the printer. Process P1, P2 and P3 all are at waiting queue, waiting for the printer to get released by process P4. Okay, so new from new to ready, it is admitted. Now our process is at ready queue. Okay, next point is running state. So once the process is assigned, 
the process is being executed and turns in the running state so now from ready our process is moving to the running state so when our process is going from ready to running it is called scheduler dispatch scheduler dispatch okay and when our process is going back from running to ready state it is called interrupted in computer in operating system processes interruption is very common topic that that is very important for your examination also okay remember this point whenever our process is going from ready to running that is by scheduler dispatch and whenever our process is going back from running to ready that it that is called the interrupt of the process next we have is waiting state so now the process can follow the follow some transitions for waiting state first transition is the process may have all the resources it needs let's say process wants a printer process p1 wants a scanner also so our process may have all the resources it needs and may get directly executed and go to terminate state as you can see here from running state we have two paths one is from running to terminate and another is from running to wait okay so if our process get all the resources that it want then our process get terminated but if my process p1 has printer but it is waiting for the scanner so it will move to the waiting state also okay so process may need to go to waiting state for this particular condition and once the requirements of our process is completed that is either it get back to priority to execute or requested logged resource are available to use the process will again go to the running state that's why i have mentioned here from ready to running and running to ready okay so where uh, here we have from running to terminate running to terminate and here our process is executing so we can say it as exit process is this okay and uh, other than this what uh, what option a system may have they may have a waiting option waiting option okay so from running our process when moves to waiting then it is input output or event wait it is called input output or event wait okay now when our process is going from waiting to ready state then it is uh, it is called input output or event completed state event completed state okay so this is all about all these processes let me summarize it for you when we talk about new state new processes are created here when we talk about ready state process ready for processor or computing power allocation or any resource allocation when we talk about running state process getting executed when we talk about waiting state processes are waiting for the signals final signals whether to move from ready uh, from uh, to ready state or to running state and whenever we talk about terminate state the process execution is completed at this point okay so this is all about different states of a process now other than these pro, uh, other than these we have some other two purposes that include let me just add this over here we have two important statements over here first is suspended ready and another we have is suspended block suspended block okay so what is the meaning of suspended ready so there may be no possibility to add a new process in the queue this is queue there may be no possibility to add a new process over here in such cases it can be said to be suspended ready state and what is suspended block if the waiting queue is full this is our waiting queue 
and let's say it has a capacity of five processes only and if six sixth process is waiting is also want to enter this waiting queue then it will show a message suspended block okay so all these stages are very important i hope everything is clear to you so students if you have any doubt you can comment below i will definitely help you so thanks for watching this video